So I've got the uh, the engine here almost ready to fire. Just gonna upload the, uh, the updated tune to take into account the new O2 sensors and stuff. I've got the ignition on. I've um, taken off the fuel pump wire because I want to crank this thing over a few times, get some oil pumping through, make sure it's got oil pressure, um, and then we'll try to fire it up. So for now, we'll just put the new tune on and go from there.
cleanup to do now. Alright, so the car runs. Um, I've ran the engine to temperature a couple of times now. Um, seems to be uh, getting up to temperature fine, just gets up to 190 and then uh, the fans kick on. Um, got a couple of little oil leaks on the, uh, the turbo supply lines, so um, I've got to fix that. And then I've got to get the car off the lift so I can get all this wiring inside. Um, waiting for my bumpers um, to be painted um, hopefully they'll be done tomorrow I think I'll be able to pick them up uh, put the bumpers on uh, I put the I uh, started putting the exhaust on too uh, so that um, I can finish that up um, put the rear bumper back on and then I can get the car off the lift and um, and I can do the wiring inside because it's impossible to do anything inside with the uh, with the way um, the doors open on. It's hard to get in. So that's where we're at. Um, next video, I will uh, I'll have the the body panels on and uh, finish up the wiring. And um, it's going for tuning on May 1st, so um, hopefully we'll be able to uh, do a proper breaking up the engine on the dyno. Um, I might drive it a little bit to get the clutch broken in. I don't think you're supposed to put it straight on the dyno with a brand new clutch. Um, and uh, I've also got to swap the brakes out. I've got some two-piece gyro discs that I've got to put on. I'm waiting on my uh, brake pads to show up. Um, I had to order those off, uh, off Rock Auto. Nobody else had them for whatever reason. So who thought to Viper brake pads would be hard to get? Uh, so those are coming. So once those come in, I'll uh, swap the rotors out, put new pads on, uh, clean up the calipers, and uh, then I can start putting this thing back together so we can go on the road. So anyways, thanks for watching. I know it's been a bit of a lengthy video, um, but... Uh, bit of a process getting this whole thing back together and getting everything working again so if you guys have any questions or anything let me know but uh, like and subscribe and obviously more videos coming on this thing so continuing on with the build here i'm gonna go ahead and uh, start replacing all the brakes i finally got all the parts in got the rotors got the uh, new brake pads um, so I've just finished cleaning up the calipers that came off the parts car. These are pretty much like a new shape. I just washed them and they look great. Um, the ones on this car, they're kind of beat up a little bit. They're, they probably, they'll clean up pretty well too after they're washed. Um, but I figured it's easier to just wash the spare set that I have. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, take this apart. Um, pretty easy process. This caliper is just held on with the two bolts there. And then two bolts hold the uh, e-brake the e caliper on. Kind of hard to see. There's one on top, one on the bottom. Um, so we'll get those off, get the new rotors on, get the new brake pads in, and, and that'll be that. All right, so I've got the first side apart here. One thing I noticed, this e-brake caliper, <laughs> the, uh, the inside pad is worn right down to nothing. I don't know how that happens. I don't know if the thing's not adjusted properly or what. Or if somebody was just driving this car with the e-brake on for a long time but um, I'm gonna go ahead and replace those obviously and go ahead and clean up this hub and, and then replace this caliper I'm gonna do that last because I don't want to lose a bunch of brake fluid because I'm gonna be a pain to bleed it so I'll get the, uh, the hub cleaned up get the new rotor on and uh, start working backwards 
All right, here's the results after. Got the new rotor on, caliper. Um, I made sure I retracted the uh, the e-brake uh, piston all the way back. It's actually one of those that you have to turn. So I think that's probably what happened on the other side. That's why it was worn down all the way. It's because whoever worked on it last didn't retract it. So then it just wore the pad down. So I've got this side done, three more to go. All right, so all the brakes are done. Got the wheels on, just getting ready to pull the car off the lift for the first time in the last couple of months. Um, I've got as much as I can buttoned up. I've got the intakes on for the turbos. They can, you can kind of see they run through here and uh, go into the turbo there. Kind of hard to see. Um, got all this buttoned up, all the lines. Got the uh, bumper support on. Um, put the hood back on. I forgot that I have to trim the hood for the uh, for the intercooler pipes to clear, so I still gotta do that. Um, but for now, my main goal is to get it off the lift and get this wiring all done, put it inside the cabin. Um, and then I can go for tuning. So today is Saturday, it's going for tuning on Wednesday. So I've got a few days to get it all ready to go. I'm picking up the uh, front bumper and the sides tomorrow. Well, I've got one of the sides here. I picked it up when I got the, uh, the rear bumper back. I put the rear bumper back on, it's all painted. It looks a lot nicer than the rest of the car right now. But once the car is washed and uh, I think the whole thing is going to need a nice polish, it should all look nice. But at least the bumper is not all sandblasted now because this all used to be just beat right up on it. So it's all back together. Got the under tray on, got my scavenge pump all hooked up. So just going to drop this thing down and uh, keep working on getting the wiring buttoned up. So I've started working on stripping the interior, got the uh, seats out, got a few panels out. Um, this car's got this full sound system in it that somebody put in, looks like a long time ago. So um, there's crossover boxes and all kinds of stuff. They surface mounted those mids right there. there and from the factory, there's usually a, a little sub that sits there in a box. So that's all gone. So. I'm just, um, I, I figured it's probably easier to just take it all out and start over. So working on finishing up the wiring, I pulled the, uh, the driver's side fender here off. Um, makes my life a lot easier to uh, get all the stuff inside, get it all nice and tidy so it's not a big mess here. Um, got the inside pretty much um, ready to go back together. I was able to get the center console uh, in, got the new deck in, got the two gauges in the vents there, um, got my gauge stack that has the uh, boost uh, gauge in it, got that in, got the center console back in, kind of started working on fixing the, all this wiring for the sound system that they have in here. Find, found out that the tweeter on the driver's side does not work. So that's unfortunate. Gonna need to order a new one of those, but that's not a huge deal. Um, just gonna be a bit of a pain because you have to pull this off to get that grill off there and uh, to replace it. So for now, I'll have to just put it back together without a tweeter in there. But yeah, um, I've got the all the wires cleaned up here. So I just ran a new power and ground for the amp. Um, I got, I'm gonna get rid of all the stuff they used to have back here for like capacitor and stuff. There's only one amp in here, so it doesn't need it. So um, I've got the ECM down there. So that's gonna go up above the, the knee bolster. But for now, um, my main goal is to get all this wiring kind of uh, put away properly, get it all looking nice and then I can put the fender back on. Um, I'm gonna just line up back to the uh, where the factory holes, um, where the, the marks are from where it was sitting. 
and it should hopefully line, line back up together just fine. All right, um, got all the wiring buttoned up here. Just getting ready to put the fender back on. Just, uh, I was busy putting the interior all back together, so I've got all that done. Um, all this is done. I've got my button wired in here. This is gonna be used for my line lock and also for the uh, rolling anti-lag. Um, everything else here is done. So it's obviously gonna all need to be cleaned and stuff. It's all really dirty still, but uh, getting there. I just want to start the car before I put the fender back on, make sure I don't have any wiring issues. Uh, but the battery's pretty much dead. So I'm gonna put my charger on it and uh, fire it up. And then once it starts and runs and all the gauges work, um, then I can put the fender back on. And then I'll probably put it back on the lift and then uh, put the bumper on, put the side skirts on. And um, then it's pretty much ready to go for tuning. So, getting there. All right, so it's all back together now. Um, took me a bit to get the bumper on, got the hood on, um, pulled the, uh, the vents out of the hood. Um, still working a little bit on the hood alignment, but it's not too bad. Um, I'm gonna get the whole car polished, and then I'll put a new emblem on the, uh, on the bumper here. It's probably gonna be the only emblem I'm gonna have on the car. I'm not gonna put the side ones back on or anything. I, I don't think anyway. Um, got the uh, wheel well liners all in there. Um, got the, all the under trays all installed. So just gonna pull the car off the lift. I was hoping to put my parking brake relocation brackets in, um, but they haven't showed up yet, so. Um, I might wait to pull the car off the lift or I might just do it and then just uh, do it on a, on a jack later because I got to get this car out and got to get it loaded on the trailer because it's got to go for tuning first thing tomorrow morning. So that's where it's at now. So I'm installing the uh, RSI uh, parking brake relocation kit. Um, and the instructions, um, they're fairly clear, the ones that come from RSI, but I just want to figure I'd make a quick video for anybody who's doing this. So this is the way they want you to reroute the parking brake cable. Um, it has to go above the, uh, the rear end. Um, hoping you guys can see here. But in their instructions, they don't have the rear end in the car, so it's not really clear exactly where they want you to put the parking brakes cables um so i've got them running there i haven't secured them yet but yeah in their instructions they want you to put a little uh clamp on that uh, piece of frame right there and then it goes over the rear end and then it comes out um through here and then kind of goes like that so they also want you to use that uh bracket right there um, and then they give you a little self tapper to put put it in the frame there and then also so once I get the brackets on I'll show you how it goes into the bracket Now the easiest way to get this bracket off I found is to actually um, undo the parking brake caliper You just take uh, the top bolt off and you loosen the bottom one and then that way it gives you space to get a socket up top for the uh, allen bolts uh, the small bolt's on a number five Allen, and the big bolt is a uh, number eight Allen. So now I've got the uh, the factory bracket off. I'm about to put the RSI one on. Okay, so I've got the bracket on. Use their supplied bolts that they give you. They're kind of an oddball size. Um, the small bolt is a four, um, but the big one it's a seven thirty seconds, which I didn't even have a socket in. I had to use a, a little Allen wrench. But anyway, I got the bracket on there, so now I can route the parking brake cable. All right, so I've got both brackets installed. I've got the uh, parking brake reconnected again. Uh, reattached the, the little caliper back to where it's supposed to go. So, and I've uh, hooked up both cables again. So now I'm just going to 
um, use the uh, self tappers to screw in the uh, the brackets into the frame there and then you got to reroute this um, ABS cable they want you to follow the uh, the parking brake cable so you got to go up and over the uh, the sway bar so I'll do that next okay so the cables all ran all secured um, I moved the uh, ABS cable here too. My car's got an extra cable because I got a, another wheel speed sensor back here for traction control. Um, no wonder in their instructions they have the rear end out because trying to secure this, uh, <laughs> that little rubber uh, coated clamp onto the frame right there, it's damn near impossible with the rear end in the car. But uh, I used a long extension and I was able to uh, I was able to get it uh, just barely. Hopefully I can show you guys here. Yeah, so I got that screw in there um, and then uh, put another one right there and then rerouted the ABS cable on this side also and uh, all is done. So hopefully it all works like it's supposed to. I don't see why it wouldn't. So now it'll fit uh, 18s on the back, no problem. So hopefully this was uh, helpful to you guys. If you have any questions, let me know.